This is the deli we had breakfast at. I camped behind here last night. Uh, good morning, today is day 107 on the Appalachian Trail. Last night we camped behind Danny's Pizzeria, which is closed on Sundays, which is when we got there. And their deli that's also connected closed at 2 p.m. So we didn't get to go anywhere last night, but we came back there and then this morning at 6 a.m. We went inside and um, got breakfast food from the deli. I got like a blueberry bagel and cream cheese and they got sandwiches. And then now we're hiking out. It's about seven, it's about a half mile back out to the trail. Today we're trying to do like a 20 and a half mile day. Um, so I think the Wiley shelter is the plan. Um, we're gonna pass some fun stuff. I think like Nuclear Lake is today. And um, past the train station. So all these awful things. So gorgeous. <laughs> Look at the mountains in the distance. Amazing. That over there is Nuclear Lake. We took a break by it, but it was really cold, like sitting around by it. So I'm gonna keep hiking. The Dover Oak. It's huge. The Dover Oak. It's like the biggest oak or oldest oak on like the northern half of the AT. How long have you had your shoes? Like a mile. A nice boardwalk. Oh, there's a bench up there. Oh, yeah, no, those boardwalks are so sketch. I feel like I have. Oh, that's great. I love that movie. Didn't Jack Black play Bowser? Yeah. The Appalachian yeah. Station. Southeast White Plains in New York. Oh, the Appalachian Station with Bad Bat and Vegas and Globetrotter. Hold on. And Globetrotter. <laughs> the cows. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and the tractor is cutting the grass like directly in front of me. All of these things were like all up on my legs scratching me and then I got a little behind my group and the tractor is like cutting it in between them and me. So I'm walking in a nice short grass. Alright so I just left um Alright so I just left this water source back here. Um, there's like possibly water like a hundred yards from the shelter, but we're not really sure and I just like to get to the shelter and like have it all. So I stopped and filtered some and I'm carrying a little bit in a bag. I think it's about a half mile away. Hopefully that's true because I'm kind of just like ready to be done for the day. It's not even like six o'clock yet, but it's going to be a nice night in um, early. And I think I might wake up early tomorrow morning, try to see Ellie. Who knows? Don't really know. But, um, yeah, today was a pretty good day. I just got in this luggage at the end. I stopped at, like, a food truck, but there wasn't really any food there. I wanted to just bought, a, like, a Pepsi, which was fine. She's a good, nice pick-me-up. Yeah, tonight I'll be at the shelter with, um, at least, Pabat Vegas Globetrotter. And then there'll probably be some others there, so that'd be cool. Morning today is day 108. Um, last night I camped here at, um, just down the hill from a shelter with all my friends and we were on a, um, tenting platform last night, which was cool. I'd never tented on one of those. I just didn't even set up my rain fly. I just kind of put the mesh of my tent up and kept the bugs away and had a fun evening playing Mad Libs again. Um, then I went to bed and woke up this morning. We're hiking out. It's like almost 7 o'clock. In about five miles, there's like a little store. I think it's kind of like the Appalachian Market, kind of like a gas station convenience store thing for hikers. And so I'm going to stop there and get a resupply that'll last me till Great Barrington instead of going into Kent. Also today, it's your last day in New York, and we'll be crossing into Connecticut today, which is real exciting. Also kind of having like a great dilemma, which really is not that big of a problem, but like I think I made it to be one in my head. So I've been hiking with Bad Bat, um, Vegas, and Globetrotter. But Bad Bat's getting off and going on a vacation to New York City here, um, like day after tomorrow, basically. So 
Um, then it would just be me, Vegas, and Globetrotter, who I both really like, but like, it would just be me and dudes again. And like, I don't know. Like, it's not that I don't like them, I do. It's just like sometimes when you're hiking only around like men, and just, like, I like having like female company. Anyway, um, so Ellie, who I hiked with like Virginia, like well, the first half of Virginia basically, um, is just ahead. Like yesterday, I think she camped maybe like five or six miles north of where we were. So, like, close. And, um, I don't know, like, if I want to try to catch up with her or stay with these guys. Because, like, she's doing kind of probably going to be doing bigger days than I want to do. Also, I would have to, like, kind of speed up to catch her and then be tired and then also be doing the big days she wants to do. Or stay with them. Or doing about the mileage I want to do and plan to finish about the same time I want to finish. But just, like, not have any, like, female companies. So, like, I don't know. We'll see how, um... What I do and how that goes. But also, if I sit with them, they're planting a zero in Great Barrington, which is like what I want to do. And so that's why I'm kind of like, maybe I shouldn't book it to catch her. Well, like, I don't know. She was like one of my favorite hiking buddies ever, so who knows. It's like a bridge made out of two logs and a rope. So we made it across. Now bad bat is. Go bad bat! Is it like bounces. Yeah. <laughs> but like it didn't fall or anything, so I guess it's fine. We could have rock hopped, but what was the fun in that? Those rocks like right there. Welcome to Connecticut! Oh. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were. We just went a long way. Oh, it was. I'm like walking on a blue blaze to go to the Bulls Bridge Country Store or something like that. And there's going to be some kind of cool covered bridge up here soon. And then at the store, I'm going to resupply and get like a nice mid morning snack meal thing. Yeah. It's a car in the Bulls Bridge. Ah! I love covered I know an Indian. This cute. Oh, there's windows. Are they like learning how to. Rescue team? That looks like it's like a course. Yeah, they're like learning. They need a volunteer. Help! I'll be the person in distress. Oh, no. Alright, so I spent probably an hour at the um, Bulls Bridge Country Store, which was actually pretty good. I went in and got some food, and they had a slushy, which made me so happy. <laughs> and then um, went back into resupply, and it wasn't as crazy overpriced as I thought it would be, because it was like a convenience store, but it actually wasn't super bad. And they had a pretty good selection, too. So I enjoyed that and then took the blue blaze back and now I'm back on the AT again. Um, it's supposed to rain here this afternoon and possibly thunderstorm. So there's a shelter, I think about six or seven from here, um, that I might stop in at, wait out a storm and then keep hiking to where I want to get to. So yeah, that's the current plan. See how that changes. <laughs> I have a nice hazy view off the top of Mount Algo, possibly. I don't really know what we're on. We're not even quite to the top yet. It's so smoky from like I think the Canadian wildfires. This rock here 
makes this section of trail like a little sidewalk. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Also, look like all the moss has been worn off the rock where people walk. So it looks so weird. So I'm about like 12 miles into the day. Um, I'm arriving in the shelter. And I'm going to stop and take a bit of a break, get some water, and then push on the rest of the miles that I have to do. Well, that I want to do. Um, I don't think it's going to rain anymore, so that's good. So I probably don't need to wait out any rain here. But I am going to take a decent break because... I'm tired and my feet hurt and there's been a lot of descent so yeah it's just been crazy like descent on rocks I've been watching I uh, listen to the podcast currently ending a long um ish break here where I sort of had lunch at like three o'clock at the Mount Algo shelter I'm um, gonna pack up here in just a sec and hike out I have about 7.8 miles I think 7.3 I can't remember to the shelter I want to get to tonight so yeah, it didn't rain, feels good. Um, I just was struggling coming down that hill, so I need to take a break and eat something. We had kind of an awkwardly time break this morning at the resupply, and so then like, the rest of the day's just kind of been like off. Also like with the, um, what's it called, like the smoke from the wildfires and stuff, like the, when the sunlight is shining, it's like red, and so it makes you think it's like the end of the day, when it was really only like one o'clock. And so I think that's making me kind of like <laughs> tired because I think it's the end of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna get hiking here in a minute and feel a lot better. Trees, they're all the same trees. I should film something. Like, I should vlog real quick. Alright, so I'm like less than a mile from the shelter. I'm going a little crazy. It was really steep <laughs> coming down from, I think it was Caleb's Peak. And up top it was really hazy and I just sat there for a bit and then I came down and it was really scary. Uh, I'm with Bad Bat now. <laughs> ah! Ah! I need an adult! <laughs> we both need an adult. I think we're not okay. But I did talk to my family, so that was good. And we're almost there, and it's like the last two miles are flat, so it's been fine. I'm just tired. 